So, we have a real big problem right now with, maybe some people don't consider problem, like a lot of people don't consider porn a problem, but uh, OnlyFans is a huge <clears throat> temptation to young women, because young women basically, the singles, a single young woman, or even actually, well, older women, but this this wouldn't be as much temptation for older women, are very financially, um, on the average, uh, poor, you know, there, there's, they're, they're working on it now where, where, where the finance is equal, but a lot of the work is, you know, it involves spatial reasoning, it involves heavy labor, it, it's just, you know, the office work, it's different for young women to work on for a female. It's like I, I was saying, you know, brains are, are different, totally. It's not the, it's not the sex organ. They, one, one has, men have a, a motor skill in, um, wired into their brain a different, you know, that if it's, you know, doing manual labor and stuff. And, um, so the, the, the neurons go from, from left to right or right to left in a woman, in a female, and front to back in a man. And there's the, the amount of brain matter for spatial reasoning and stuff like that in a man is more than a woman. And a woman has got like way more neurons, nerves, and, and feelings and stuff uh, wired into her brain. And um, <clears throat> so they totally think different. Which they can't change in a sex change. You know. And, um. So. When they're in the workplace, it's it's different. <clears throat> and they're trying to get more, you know. So, so they're, blat they're, they're, they're blatantly keeping men off CEO jobs right now. But that's just. You know, the the that will make women seem to be earning more, or or business owners. You know, they're they're trying to not give loans to men and have so that women are the business owners and fast tracking women to to becoming owners of their own businesses. But how many young women are out to do that? <clears throat> and. Only those young women are going to be the ones who have money. So make it look like they're they're getting more money for for the average woman, but they aren't. So you have a lot of, of poor young women, you know, and um, there's just You know, if you go to a restaurant, you, obviously there's a lot more waitresses who are women than men. And um, stuff like that, right? But they get paid. It's just less pay unless they get good tips. And... I'm not saying that that they they don't work in offices because there's there's tons of women that work in offices. They're trying to increase the amount, you know. So we have all that stuff going on, and but to a young woman, I mean, obviously this is more of a temptation for a woman than man. OnlyFans, social media. To, to get on Twitter, to get on social media, Instagram, and become a social media model, nude model, and, and gets so lewd. It's not just nudity. They do sex acts. 
and to get up the money to become rich or to have afford a house because they they're struggling they're not married nobody wants to get married you know you got like 50 percent of a young people not wanting to get married uh, one out of three have been molested and well, well, female and one out of five male and that's a that's socially it's uh, you know I mean that makes life harder for uh, financially for any of them and it's a different United States than uh, prior and you have traditionalists who are agreeing and they live traditional and, and they're well that's not our country that's not the way it is but, but that's the way it actually is right now and so they won't compromise or or op- you know stay open to new I- solutions and ideas which uh, would be liberal to to finding you know to moving monies around to try and find a way to keep people financially stable anything that happens they're just no what I'm not saying one way is wrong or right on that situation because there's new new things going on and uh, being liberal is not necessarily you know about what the liberal politics are because they aren't they aren't even being Democrat or, or Republican or this or that you know it's not all about moral laws and um, but even the Republican are uh, on the it seems like in the judicial review the do so we have this judicial review when it comes to legal disputes the courts are the final deciders of what the Constitution means this authority known as ju- judicial review gives the Supreme Court and federal courts the authority to interpret the Constitution. So that comes up, it's a judicial review is not a power to suspend or strike down legislation. It's a judicially imposed non-enforcement policy that lasts long, only as long as there is something that's going to executive veto when a court declares a statute unconstitutional and joins its enforcement to disapprove law described as having been struck down or rendered void. As if the judiciary holds veto-like power to cancel, revoke, and duly enact a statute, and the political branches carry on as those the court decision is based. The federal judiciary has no authority to alter or annul a statute. The power of judicial review is more limited. It allows a court to decline to enforce a statute and to enjoin the executive. So what they're doing is they are declining to enforce laws. So fornication is illegal but the courts decide well they can't do anything about it because it's unconstitutional because of privacy <clears throat> this and that so you got only fans and and they're saying this is art on, on the only fans and the porn so what you have is a very corrupt you have judges who are demoralizing the constitution the purpose of the Constitution, the threat of that is there are higher courts around the world. And so we got a court that's demoralized this Constitution, and the Constitution is the founding document of the country. So the whole country's found foundation, the whole existence of the country is has to do with that court and the authority of it. And so Everything that's being enforced, the 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 FBI, every, they become 
when when it's demoralized, it's it's a shameful, immoral thing. There's there's no, the the law itself because of what law is like. You know, if you read John Locke, natural law theory, and and everything that's been reasoned out that is why law is, you have these higher courts around the world who want who want America to have to conform and to um, its existence not to exist really. Unless it's just another one of their countries, and that they're, you know, for just some something didn't have monarchs. The monarchs don't want to honor it, and I know you got dictators and everybody. All them, they don't want to honor it. And the, basically, the Russians had won because KGB was subverting, demoralizing. That was their strategy. And. Um, so when they they can they have high tribunals that well the american constitute american people uh, that's just the immoral place there's no no reason to honor it because i mean they have only fans models right they have porn <clears throat> and um it's a threat to our, our the, the, you know, whenever they want to do military action, defend the Constitution, and whatever from uh, any of this stuff or any legal, you know, want to want to talk about our, you know, the UN rights and anything, all that stuff is it comes stems from John John Locke and all that stuff, but that's just nothing because they could see John Locke's political theory, they like. You know, I mean, they allow OnlyFans. They allow porn. It demoralizes law, but law is not immoral. Law is not. To, uh, you know, it's a pure thing. It's, uh, you know, the, the divine reason of, of humanity. It's, uh, you know, the, the moral prowess and and ability of humanity to come to make decisions and and um, the you know guidelines that are involved with that kind of reason and so that's what the constitution that's what the but the judges so so it was it was illegal already fornication all that stuff you know it was already done so it's, they 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 decided they're not going to enforce it because it's some it's art but it's not art judge some judge's opinion was it was art it was unconstitutional because it's art and artists well they'll let art well of course you know a person earning money from uh, prostitution it, I mean they'll arrest a prostitute but they won't arrest an OnlyFans model or a porn star and Anal intercourse is paying a thousand dollars an hour. So, um, I guess it's okay. So that that, that and that is uh, this P P Diddy stuff, right? <laughs> But basically, so so what we have is these judges. But judges or elected officials mistakenly assume that a court decision has canceled or revoked a duly enacted statute. They commit the writ of eraser fallacy. The fallacy that equates judicial review with a veto-like power to strike down legislation. So the, the people would not be sovereign if the courts could do that. And so it's all. When a court announces that a statute violates the Constitution, it is common for judges and elected officials to act as though the statute ceases to exist. They will say that the statute has been struck down or rendered void by the court decision, and they will act as though the court's ruling has excised the statute or spawned the largest law. Includes judicial pronouncement of unconstitutionality is regarded as something akin to executive veto. The disapproved law is struck down either in whole or in part 
and the portions or applications of the statute that contradict the judiciary's interpretation of the Constitution are treated as legal nullity. The belief that federal courts strike down unconstitutional statutes is widely held throughout our legal and political culture. But that is an imprecise and misleading description of the power of judicial, judicial review. The federal courts have no authority to erase a duly enacted law from the statute books, and they have no power to veto or suspend a statute. So, basically, this this stuff going on with OnlyFans is is dangerous, and porn porn is worse. Well, it is porn. OnlyFans is porn. To uh, it, although it seems to increase the economy, it is dangerous to the whole existence of our country and our society being free having a having a, a, a court having a country that as as it's been established cuz it, it it's a danger of of uh, demoralizing the authority of the constitution which which makes it globally a, a shameful ignoble cause to even have the United States government 